Shalom everyone. Today we'll be experiencing Israel. This video will be different than the other videos I've been making because I will show you the video I had made in 2016. But first of all, let's look at what we have here. I guess my dad bought this when he was in Israel in 1984. Feast of Tabernacles is also known as Sukkot and it's a Jewish festival. In this event, people celebrate the gathering of the crops and remember the time in the past when the small shelters were made by the Jews when they were in wilderness and had no home. The menorah was an ancient lamp which the Israelites were carrying around when they were wandering through the desert. It was made of gold and olive oil fed the menorah's flame. While Moses and the Israelites were wandering the desert, God commanded Moses to construct the menorah. Israel is a special country for my dad because he organized the Christian pilgrimage for South Koreans for the first time in 1980s. He wrote a book about pilgrimage site in Israel, which was published six times. I have three of them here. December 21st, 2016, my parents, my brother and I took a flight to Tel Aviv. We drove from Tel Aviv to Eilat, where we arrived around 10 p.m. and next morning we were so happy to have such wonderful weather. The first thing we did, or I did, was riding a camel. It was in my bucket list, so I had to do that when I saw the camel in front of the underwater observatory marine park, where we were actually heading to. It was a little scary because of the heights, but still, it was so fun. This is the underwater observatory marine park of Eilat. First, we watched a movie about their work. Then, we rode Coral 2000, a glass-bottomed boat. We sailed for about 20 minutes, observing many corals. Then, we went to the underwater observatory. Actually, we could see a lot more and a lot better here. This is the Red Sea. It reminded me of the biblical story, the crossing of the Red Sea by Moses and Israelites. The area is called Shark's Wall, but my favorite was the ray here. Get that ray. So cute, right? December 23rd, we left Eilat. It was so pity because we could stay there only for one whole day. But I was excited to see other animals because we were heading to High Bar Safari. There were so many antelopes. Oh, 
speech was so funny. There was an antelope. First I thought he was coming to us, but he changed the direction and started to run. Another ostrich was coming to us. I was inside of the car but still I got a little bit scared because I had the impression that she was angry. Oh my god, one more ostrich. Stop doing that, we have to go. After the safari, we were heading to Dead Sea. There were so many stony mountains on the way. This is the Dead Sea. The weather was not that nice, we couldn't see much, but we could see that it was really big. On Christmas Eve at 5.40 a.m., we arrived at Masada, one of Israel's most popular tourist attractions. We got up around 4 o'clock in the morning to have breakfast and to drive to this area. It was so cold and dark and rainy, but we started climbing up the mountain so early, hoping to see the sunrise at the top of the mountain, which was not possible because of the weather. At the end of the First Jewish-Roman War, from 73 to 74 after Christ, the long siege of the Roman Empire led to the mass suicide of Jewish families in Masada. The men killed their own families and then killed themselves. They might have thought that it would be better this way than becoming slaves of Romans. If this story was true, we were standing on such a tragic location. We took the cable car on the way back. Thank God, we could see all the way we had walked in the morning. Then we went to Nazareth. My mom had something to say about this. Oh, 
이거 앞두고 가는 거야 호텔로 야 이거 그럴 수가 있는 거야 And we visited the Basilica of Annunciation, which was built over the site where the Virgin Mary was living and the angel Gabriel appeared to announce that she would conceive and bear the Son of God, Jesus. On the walls of that basilica, there is a gallery with icons representing some of the most important Marian devotions in different countries. We walked more than 20,000 steps on this day. We hadn't imagined walking so much in Nazareth. On Christmas Day, we went to Cana where Jesus performed his first miracle. <laughs> This is Catholic Church in Kana, which was closed shortly before we arrived. <laughs> Tiberias, which is a city in Galilee. We went to a Chinese restaurant, but we had the famous St. Peter's fish there. And suddenly my mom said, look at that. There were so many seagulls. So we finished dinner quickly and then we went out and took a lot of pictures. On December 26, we left the hotel in Tiberias and we went to Tapga. The Church of Primacy of St. Peter commemorates and allegedly marks the spot where Jesus reinstated Peter as chief among the apostles. In Christian apocalyptic literature, Mount Megiddo is the site of the final battle between the forces of good and evil at the end of time, known as Armageddon. Because of its strategic location, Megiddo was the site of several battles. Looking at this huge storeroom for grains, you can imagine the huge number of soldiers and horses. In the time of Solomon, there were approximately 450 horses and 150 chariots. In the middle of the mountain, a big bucket was excavated, which was the water bucket for the horses. The famous waterway of Megiddo was built like this. The rock was bored vertically about 36 meters deeper from the ground, and then the 65-meter rock tunnel was bored horizontally. Thank <laughs> you. 
While he was being imprisoned, he wrote a letter to Ephesus in which he told not to pray for his release from the prison because he knew that God will use this position to proclaim him in front of the Roman emperor. December 27th, he went to Bethlehem. This is the Church of the Nativity and the Pilgrimage Route, which is the birthplace of Jesus. And this is the place people believe that Jesus was born. With the five months of Jesus, all the four evangelists, Marcus, Matthews, Lucas, John, we went to the church of the Paternoster. The Paternoster means the Lord's Prayer. In this church, there were so many Lord's Prayers in many other languages.
I will show you what Israeli food I made. See you in the kitchen. I will make a shakshuka today. One of my favorite food.
for watching this video and please like and subscribe. See you next Friday.